I'm Dr. Melina Jampolis, and I'm the Chief Nutrition Officer for BLK Water. And I'm also a medical doctor who specializes in nutrition. And I'm here with my good friend and colleague, Dr. Taylor Wallace, who has a PhD in food science nutrition. And we're gonna talk a little bit about BLK Water and all the science, and I'm gonna try to talk about some of the medicine too. So let's talk about the burning question that everybody is probably wondering, why the heck is this water black? <laughs> Well, so the water is black because it contains humic acid. Humic acid is a very big molecule that contains a lot of carbons. Carbon produces a black color. Well, that sounds pretty easy, actually. I expected <laughs> it to be a lot more detailed and scientific, but that's good to know. So, but speaking of black, so this isn't charcoal water, right? That's different. No, that's completely different. This water is produced over thousands of years. It's natural compounds. You know, charcoal is burnt. Right, and so it picks up a lot of things in your body and it's not really that good for you. This has a lot of antioxidants that's super healthy. Okay, well that's really important to know because I mean people, I know, you know, charcoal water was really popular for a while and as a doctor I cringed when I heard about people <laughs> drinking it because we use that when people overdose on medications. We do right. not use, and this is an actual healthy product. So. I'm relieved to know that they're totally different, and I'm sure a lot of people are out there as well. So let's get into the details a little bit about fulvic acid, because I think that's really, to me, the most exciting thing. And I think a lot of people, we talk a lot about polyphenols in nutrition, and I didn't know this, but fulvic acid is actually a polyphenol. What are polyphenols? Yeah, so humic acid makes the color. The active ingredient is fulvic acid, a very strong polyphenol. Polyphenols have a ring structure. And what that ring structure does is it allows them to quench free radicals. Remember those free radical chain reactions? Oh yeah, They're I learned like about those in med in school. Hold on, I think I remember. <laughs> right, they're like dominoes in the body and polyphenols like to put a block on those dominoes from falling over. Now, fulvic acid is a really powerful polyphenol. So some polyphenols might only put one block in the dominoes, Fulvic acid puts many blocks, so your dominoes aren't gonna fall over with fulvic acid. So that's a really cool thing because, I mean, polyphenols, I talk about them all the time and everything that I do, they're in blueberries, they're in red wine, they're in right. green tea, lots of colorful fruits and vegetables. What do they do for our health? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, so polyphenols, we just talked about them being very strong antioxidants, but they also dilate your veins, uh, creating increased blood flow, which gets nutrients to all parts of your body. It makes you feel better. You know, when you're kind of slouchy, it's, uh, that's because your blood flow, your veins are restricting. And so polyphenols really open up those veins. So I think a lot of people are a little confused about free radicals. Do we need them? How many do we need? How does BLK water fit in? Help me out here. Well, so free radicals are produced by your body when it metabolizes oxygen. It's part of a normal, healthy process. Now, with the Western diet, where we're consuming a lot of fast foods, high sodium, high sugar, and saturated fat, it really accentuates the amount of free radicals that we have. I mean, how many people in the U.S. are getting their five-a-day fruits and vegetables? I don't know, less than 10%, maybe? Right. It's more <laughs> like 2%. Oh, wow. So um, this product is a practical solution for a lot of people. It's got a lot of powerful antioxidants in there. It's on the go. And so it can, you know, maybe substitute for some of those antioxidants that you should be getting from a healthy diet. Yeah. And it tastes amazing. I think that's one of the other things. People, when they see black water, they assume that it's not going to taste good, that it's going to have a charcoal-like taste. But I mean, I, I don't know if you agree, but I love this. I love the flavor of this. And I think, you know, it falls right along with things like blueberries and berries and deeply colored fruits and vegetables in terms of its ability to act as an antioxidant. So, but I just want to make sure people know this doesn't replace a healthy diet. It works alongside a healthy diet. Fulvic acid also helps with blood flow, right? Right. So think of your veins as like a rubber band. So for instance, when you smoke, your veins expand, but too much, and the rubber band can eventually snap. Mm -hmm. Fruits, vegetables, things that contain powerful antioxidants, you expand those veins, but just a little bit, and it remains expanded. So you have this healthy blood flow. So think about your veins as like a pipe or a rubber band. 
So that's really helpful. So blood flow to the brain, to the heart, to other areas. It's pretty much muscles. Everything works better with antioxidants and polyphenols like in fulvic acid. Right, because... If you have enhanced blood flow, you have enhanced oxygen delivery all through the body, and that's really good for all of your cells. That's that's amazing to know. I love that. So it's it's a really powerful compound, this fulvic acid. Right, especially with the Western diet. Again, added sugar, saturated fat, sodium can really constrict your veins. So it's important to get a lot of foods that have antioxidants so that they help you know, expand those veins and keep them expanded. And most Americans just aren't getting enough antioxidants in their diet. So this is an easy, delicious way to get more in. I mean, I think it tastes great. I do too. I do too. What's your favorite flavor? Oh, I like the lychee. I tried the lychee earlier today and I thought it was fantastic. All right. Mine is still the strawberry rhubarb, but. Oh, okay. Nice. The gut is a hot topic these days. Everybody is talking about the microbiome, the bacteria that live in your gut. They make you healthier. They make you unhealthy. This plays a role in that? Right. So your microbes in your gut communicate with the rest of your body. We've co-evolved with them. And there are good microbes and there are bad microbes. The nice thing about polyphenols, they're kind of like fish food for your good bacteria. And all your little good bacteria just eat them up and love them. And it helps your good bacteria grow and prosper. And your bad bacteria just kind of, you know, sit dormant. And I think that's really important because in my practice, in my medical nutrition practice, I see a lot of people who are overweight and obese and have type 2 diabetes. And one of the biggest things that they have because they don't eat a healthy diet is they have an off balance of good and bad bacteria. And it's like a vicious cycle. So it makes things worse because the bad bacteria are flourishing because they're not getting the fish food, like you call it. (laughs) And the good bacteria are pretty much starving to death. So fulvic acid actually helps support the good bacteria. And actually in overweight and obese patients, we can actually tell which ones are overweight and obese just by the ratios of bacteria in their gut. So this is really supporting a healthy gut, which also has head to toe implications. So I know there's a lot of research linking the gut to the brain to, like we said, diabetes. Also, I've seen to performance with bacteria that produce lactic acid. So that's another potential exciting benefit, I think, of fulvic acid with athletes and with people who are more physically active, but also with regular people, with the majority of the Americans being not so healthy. Right. And, you know, another great thing about fulvic acid is it binds certain minerals and it helps increase their absorption into the body, which is really important for athletes and people who have a higher metabolism and are utilizing more of those nutrients in their body. And conversely, it also binds heavier compounds that are toxic and helps your body get rid of them, right? Right. If you think about heavy metals, like we all know that 25-year-old that wants to have a rail drink at the bar and now we're just way past that age because our head will be blowing off our shoulders tomorrow. It's because it contains a lot of heavy metals. But fulvic acid can bind those heavy metals and then they just go out the other end. So on occasion, I may have a few more cocktails that I'm supposed to, more than the one glass of wine that I'm supposed to drink every day. And I don't know, I feel like this really helps with hangovers. Is there any truth to that? So two things. One, alcohol contains a lot of heavy metals and fulvic acid binds heavy metals and prevents your body from absorbing them. So that's a good thing. Second, going back to blood flow, alcohol constricts your veins and that decreases your blood flow and it gives you that pounding headache. So again, fulvic acid really expanding your veins, you know, allowing for that healthy blood flow. And also the water is very hydrating. So it really does help me with my hangovers. That's not just in my head. Well, there's no clinical study on it, but it makes perfect biological sense. And we know other polyphenols do have the effect as well. That's fascinating. I I love this. Just the story just keeps getting better and better with fulvic acid. What can't it do? (laughs) One of the questions that I get asked a lot about fulvic acid and BLK water is, can you have too much? Is there such a thing as overdosing on polyphenols? Right. So you can overdose on anything. Toxicology tells us that toxicity is in the dose. 
right? So polyphenols, think about green tea. Have you ever had a couple glasses of green tea on an empty stomach and you get kind of that? Uh, that's really the adverse event that occurs by having too many polyphenols. So like anything else, you probably shouldn't drink 20 bottles a day, but a couple is perfectly healthy. Okay, so really you can't overdose if you're just having a normal standard dose, but you may have a little bit of an upset stomach. Right. Well, oftentimes when we say things are healthy and they have all these great compounds in them, people want to go out and just drink a gallon. They don't realize that more is not necessarily better. So just don't overdo it. Have what you would normally drink in water and, you know, don't go out and drink a gallon of it every 10 minutes. And I think one of the other interesting things about the polyphenols that I think is important to talk about is because they do actually bind to minerals and help with the absorption into the body, it can also bind medications and vitamins and maybe not have as positive an effect. So one of the important things is perhaps not having this with a medication that you're on and maybe not at the same time as your multivitamin. Would that be a correct statement? Right. So medications are usually absorbed within an hour or two. Now, there's not a lot of clinical data on which medications that fulvic acid or humic acid interfere with, but just to be on the safe side, you might want to take your BLK water, you know, two hours, maybe an hour difference from your medications. So don't drink 20 bottles a day and don't <laughs> take it with your prescription medication that's supposed to make a big difference, right? Is that a good, is that a fair statement? Right. But one of the things you could actually do, and this works really well for vegetarians and vegans, is have it with a meal. Because we know that a lot of vegetarians and vegans don't get enough calcium, they don't get enough iron or magnesium in the diet. So again, it's enhancing the absorption of those minerals that has a low absorption rate from plant foods anyway. Minerals are better absorbed mostly from animal products. So have your uh, BLK water with a salad. Hmm. Or a steak. I think one of the other <laughs> things is that this product is so versatile that no matter what diet you're on, from vegan to paleo, keto, everything in between, Fulvic acid and BLK water can really benefit you, right? Well, if you know one thing about me, you will know I have never been on a diet and I am never going to. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> like... No, but I think that's a really good point is that it works differently in different people. So I, I really, as a physician who's often prescribing healthier foods and beverages, for me, if you're following a ketogenic diet, you're not getting enough antioxidants. If you're following a vegan or vegetarian diet, you're very likely to be iron deficient, particularly for women, uh, younger women before menopause. So I love the versatility of this and it tastes great. So I love prescribing stuff to my patients that actually tastes good because nobody really wants to eat tree bark. So we know in younger women that are vegetarian or vegan that iron is a huge issue. It's not as well absorbed from plants as it is animals. So this is a product that offers a practical solution for increasing that absorption from plant foods. Yeah, that's amazing because a lot of vegans and vegetarians that I see are really yeah. deficient in iron. And iron is so important for red blood cells. And a lot of women that I see coming into my office, they say they're tired all the time, they're fatigued. And when I check their iron levels, they're, you know, bottom of the barrel. So right. it really makes a difference in how you feel from head to toe, your energy levels with the blood flow and the electrolytes and the trace minerals, in addition to the hydration and then the polyphenols. I really think this is, this is the whole package. Well, and also calcium. We know that the population with the lowest calcium intakes are teenage girls. We're building them up for osteoporosis later in life. And we know a lot of teenage girls, you know, whether it's, you know, body image or other reasons, don't consume a lot of dairy. And are dieting chronically. And are dieting chronically. So they need to absorb as much of that calcium from plant foods as possible. Let's talk a little bit about brain function, because that's one of the really interesting things about BLK water and fulvic acid. Right. So polyphenols enhance blood flow through your body. 
Increased blood flow to the brain, delivers more oxygen, makes you feel better, puts you in a better mood. That's why we feel better when we consume fruits and vegetables. So between increased blood flow, improved gut health with the gut-brain axis, maybe a little bit more serotonin, and just the hydration fact, this is really a great product for gut health. So I have really enjoyed talking about everything pertaining to fulvic acid and BLK water. I didn't think it would be nearly as exciting as it was, but Dr. Taylor, thank you so much for coming in today and talking to me all about BLK water and the wonderful benefits of fulvic acid. Now I think it's time for us to cheers. Cheers, thanks for having me. And if you wanna learn more about all the wonderful benefits of fulvic acid and BLK water, go to our website, getblk.com.